welcome back to Speakeasy. It's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday Time night. to drink. Time I don't think drink. it even qualifies <laughs> I mean, as night yet. It's Wednesday late afternoon. It's Wednesday. The day's <laughs> hey. done. The night has started. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I put some ice in. Is that sure. what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. I don't have ice in mine, but just because it was in the fridge and it's cold. I didn't bother. Heather doesn't have ice because she's a professional. <laughs> professional drinker so we can taste yeah go ahead oh i'm looking forward to drinking this already some juicy tropical oh wow does it make you want to go sit on a beach yes mm. we should not be here right now <laughs> <laughs> i know at least i should not be able to look outside i should be pretending i'm somewhere else Mm -hmm. too much snow guys. this cocktail that okay so i found the recipe then the name said gto cocktail and then when i did a little searching around i found gto was for gin tonic and orange none of those things are in this drink so i think over time people have modified and made different versions of a gto and it's changed so much that it's no longer those ingredients but they keep calling it a gto but i think it needs a different name so if you think of anything while you're drinking if inspiration hits <laughs> Let me know. It is bourbon, um, amaretto, lemon juice, and pineapple juice. Oh, it's very tasty. Amaretto is a uh, almond liqueur mm -hmm. for anyone who doesn't know. Oh, that is really, really good. Oh, I really mm -hmm. like that. I love yeah, very pineapple delicious. juice. Very tropical, very summery. Try to distract us from all the snow we keep getting. I don't know. You can just pretend yeah. the snow is like the white fields are just white sandy beaches and they're just we'll glistening try try. in the sun. I must be way less positive than you are. I think I don't have that good imagination. No. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch when it's cold out to think that. I like the snow. I'm still happy it's snowing. I was distracted this morning as I drove the kids to school, staring at the snowflakes on the windshield next to me. We were parked at the lights, and I was like checking out the snowflakes on the windshield, and my son's like, Mom, the light's green. And I was like, oh, sorry. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's like, have you seen how perfect? Every snowflake is different. But have you seen how perfect the snowflakes look? And he's like, oh, they are really cool. And then I named every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't all become my friends, okay? I just... <laughs> Most of them. And she cries when they melt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another one gone. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you so much for the credibility <laughs> here, guys. Sarah's like trying not to just spit out her drink. I just don't know what's happening over Does there. Does she have a waterproof <laughs> waste basket? <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she is spitting into she it. She cries with. <laughs> they oh my god. That's too funny. No, don't be sorry. I'm glad you like the winter. We just you guys just don't appreciate, appreciate the nature as much as I do. Okay, but it's like March now. We're we're sick of yeah, appreciating it. Here. Oh, come on! It's March first today. It is gonna it's be time. craptastic until the end of this month at no, least. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Sarah's already cleaning her deck. <laughs> yes, I'm already <laughs> planning that. I'm already planning it. My husband's already saying, don't you jinx it. Every year, Sarah, every year you clean the deck. Because Sarah already thought every about year it. She's... That's why it snowed. <laughs> every year there's like a text message. Patio's open. Oh, every year she's like, do you think I could set up my deck yet? When can I set up my patio? I'm getting the furniture out. It's like, oh no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> when can I wash the deck? And then you wash it, and then it turns okay. muddy and Now I'm going to go again. back to the point I was making earlier. Statistically mm. speaking, March is the month that we have the most That's right. moisture. Most and precipitation. Mm. If I'm being honest and not lying to you, it comes in the form of snow. <laughs> but this year's different. <laughs> oh! Yes. <laughs> I have it on good authority. <clears throat> She's Breaking news line. from Sarah's almanac. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm well, with it. I'm there for welcome. it. I I want that to be the case. I'm just I'm it done is. with winter at this point. Yeah. I would be fine with one month of winter, not like five. Exactly. It's ridiculous. That's all you need is one month. Just keep drinking your tropical <laughs> drink. Five months of winter <clears throat> means five months of no shaving my legs. <laughs> yeah. <And it's> <laughs> 
getting scary. Silver linings. Yeah. So <laughs> snow needs to stop. It's time. <laughs> Short swearing <laughs> season needs to start. <laughs> Anyone yes. else who wants to make friends with the snowflakes, give me a shout. <laughs> I'm really surprised that you're <laughs> into the snowflakes. She's not really one to put up with snowflakes. This sort of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> snowflakes. Never mind. Hmm. Are we talking about other types of snowflakes? Yeah, I don't. I feel know. like this is. I feel like the conversation has shifted in a way that I maybe don't understand. <laughs> I think Never I, mind. I it happens all the time. I think I'm I, starting to, I, but when I speak, see Heather's intelligible and good advice has washed away now. <laughs> you tried to tell me I give good advice, and I, yeah. I told you I don't. And as the listeners must have guessed, <clears throat> this is not our first drink. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you made this lighter for me because I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> this has two ounces of bourbon and half an ounce of amaretto. Well, you have half that. Oh, okay. Yours. I really like that. It is really, really tasty. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm not even drinking anything. I need to ask you. Uh-oh. Are you trying to quantify No, I just want to know how you feel <laughs> after how much of liquor. I just, I just want to know mm. how are you feeling? Oh, I'm <laughs> definitely a little bit spinny and looking at the snowflakes like oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay i just i take i just i just needed to know i just anxiety medicine that <laughs> interacts with alcohol and makes for it sure, very for sure. hard does it for does it make to... it oh yeah <laughs> does it make you feel it more it, it, it goes right to my head. I enjoy <laughs> tasting the drinks. Like, I I won't finish any of them, but I enjoy tasting them. But I just, as soon as I have two or three sips, it, like, rises. I was laughing because <laughs> Sarah, it was like she's a psychiatrist. And she's got her very serious glasses yes. on today. And she's, like, leaning in and, like, I've been so studying, okay? Yeah, you can't me. come off now. Others I can't see without it. I know. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, tell me, how, how do you feel? And I just, I just like lost. Oh my god! <sighs> you did a really good job quietly laughing your ass off over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is so so damn good. I really like this. I think that almondiness really like it makes it the works pineapple. With the, yeah, with so the pineapple, good. And so bourbon so and good. pineapple. Who knew? Mm. Which bourbon did you use? Um, Buffalo it? Trace. That's what I always have here. I was at the liquor store to buy the amaretto because I never, mm. I don't think I've ever purchased amaretto oh, in my life. So much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I went there and I was like, I asked the person working there and he's like, oh, we just have this one, this one bottle. That's all they sell of this amaretto. Yeah. And we get talking about it and he's like, oh, just sip it. Just like, it's so good just by itself. Just sip it. And I, and I was like, that sounds like a headache to me. <laughs> Like, you how know, do you feel the next day after you've been <laughs> sipping amaretto all night? You can't do a lot of it because it's so very sweet. Yeah. Um, I have yeah. done it with ice before, but it's really nice sometimes with milk, like a soy milk or a almond That's milk. That's what he said. Yeah. I was like, mm. And um, like a, like a wintertime kind of nightcap. When I was oh. growing up, my parents used to put amaretto on their ice cream when they would have like vanilla ice cream with strawberries on it. Mm. They always had a oh. shot of amaretto with it. Yum. And I would try some of it to know what it tasted yeah. like. And that's probably where my love of almond flavored things comes from because right. that was so good. Mm, that does sound good. Yeah. Something no, tells it, me it this is... won't be the last bottle of amaretto that Heather purchases. It's a quite a big bottle. <laughs> So if anyone needs some for I have drinks. so much. Oh, I should have asked you, Sarah. I didn't even think to ask I had you two guys if you bottles had bottles because before I set up my bar, I had them all in the back of the pantry. And when I took oh, everything out and set up my bar, I'm like, oh, damn. But I did finish one of it off for a drink. Mm -hmm. And then um, mm -hmm. now I have one full one. <laughs> Can you Just... take a picture of your bar for us? Oh, Remember. for uh, three can, kids. Sure, yeah. For the can you podcast? take a picture Absolutely. so we can share it? Because I want to yes. see this beautiful I would be, box. I would be honored. Uh, you know what I think you should do? It's like give the chore of dusting it to one of your kids. <laughs> So they Except. always remember I had to, when I was a kid, I had to clean my mom's liquor bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think it would be so funny. <laughs> 
then as an adult in therapy, they can be like, my mom had a bar. <laughs> Please, and that's why I never drank again. That's why I never drank growing up. Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. Come on, spring. Yes. Get this patio open. Oh. <laughs> I'll set it up tomorrow. <laughs>